Welcome to the Endocrine Lab. In this lab, we're going to take a look at the Hubbard Scientific Endocrine Model. And this is what the plaque or model is going to look like. Let's take a little closer look, though. Up here, you're going to notice this little stalk here and this little bean coming off of uh, this part of the brain. This is a mid sagittal section of the brain and right here enlarged we see the pituitary gland. Another name for the pituitary gland is the hypophysis. hypophysis. And it's going to sit, if you remember the skull, it's going to sit in the cella tersica, specifically in the hypophyseal fossa of the cella tersica. And that's why it's called hyp hypophyseal fossa, is because the old term for the pituitary gland is hypophysis. Okay, And the little stalk that attaches the pituitary gland to the brain is called the infundibulum. Okay, Now the pituitary gland is showing two parts here. This is the anterior pituitary, which is called the adenohypophysis, or some people pronounce it adenohypophysis, because adeno or adeno refers to glandular. Okay, And so this is a gland. And under the microscope, you can tell that it's very glandular. And it's going to produce several hormones that you'll learn about in uh, lecture. Okay. Now, the posterior part of the pituitary is going to look more neural. Okay, so it is not glandular. You're going to see these nerve fibers uh, running through it, these nerve tracts. And the posterior pituitary is also known as the neurohypophysis. Neurohypophysis. And so there are two hormones that are stored in the posterior pituitary. Now, if you remember that ADH and oxytocin are in the posterior pituitary, then you'll remember that if it's a pituitary hormone and it's not ADH or oxytocin, then it must be in the, produced in the anterior pituitary. And next we come down to the base of the neck where you'll find the thyroid gland. Right here, it's, this, uh, it's called the thyroid prominence. Uh, that's one of the names. Thyroid notch is another. Uh, but it's your Adam's apple, basically. If you put your finger on your Adam's apple and slide down to the base of your neck, this is where the thyroid gland is located. And as you can see over here, we have a right lateral lobe and a left lateral lobe. And then in the center, we have this tissue that um, pretty much connects the two together. And we call that the isthmus, the isthmus. Then we turn it around and look at the back. We'll find these four structures here. And these are the parathyroids. Okay, so the parathyroids. And now we're moving down below the heart, below the diaphragm to the kidneys. Sitting on top of the kidneys are these glands called the adrenal glands. And the adrenal gland is going to be made up of, first of all, you have the capsule. Okay, so the capsule. You're going to have then the cortex. And so the cortex is going to be number 11 here. So this is the cortex. Cortex means bark. So think of the bark of a tree. Okay, it's kind of a thick outer layer. Well, this is the cortex because it's the outer bark of the um, adrenal gland. And then next... We have the medulla, and the medulla is number 12 here. Okay, and so that, again, is the medulla.
And now we move down to this gland right here. And that is the pancreas. And the pancreas, you get two glands for your money. It's endocrine and it is exocrine. It's going to make a whole lot of digestive enzymes, but that is not the focus of this lecture. Uh, we'll be taking a look at that when we get to actually the digestive system. But for now, we're going to look at the endocrine function. And under the microscope, you'll find these little islands of cells. And those are called pancreatic islets, or the islets of Langerhan. And just in case you haven't guessed, islet means island. Okay. And so these little darker cells here are going to be the alpha cells of the pancreas. And then the lighter cells here are going to be the beta cells of the pancreas. And what they do, you'll learn about in lecture. Next, we get to the ovaries. As you can see here, the ovaries. This would be the uterus, fallopian tubes, also called uterine tubes, and then the ovaries. And so here we're going to have, of course, the blood vessels uh, going to the ovary. And 22 is actually referring to all the stuff in the, in the middle here, which is the medulla or inner portion of the ovary. And within that medulla, we're going to find some developing follicles. These follicles are going to mature into eggs. And as they do that, they're going to produce hormones. And 24 here is the corpus luteum. And the corpus luteum also produces a hormone, again, that we'll talk about in lecture. And here's the male reproductive uh, organ, the testis. Okay, and if we take a look, here's the testis. Uh, number 17 here is the seminiferous tubules, where sperm is uh, maturing and being produced. And uh, we are also going to have a certain type of cell that uh, is going to produce um, testosterone. And so again, that will be covered in lecture. Um, let's see, other parts here. Number 18 is the epididymis. And then 19 is going to be the ductus deferens, also called the vas deferens. And I hope this helps.